Hi everyone, Lori Marie, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Day 31. <laughs> and you thought we weren't going to make it. And we did. So yes, this is our final day for our one month challenge. And of course we chose a day with 31 days. <laughs> Next time we're doing February. <laughs> Just kidding. So uh, I want to thank Faye for her contribution to the village and Rosanna thank you for your contribution uh, to the village much much appreciated thank you so much and Hilda I did get your address so I have lots of little love letters uh, that need to be sent out so be watching the mail I'm excited for those I always am um, so let's see anything else Day 31, thank yous, um, see you on the table. Okay, so here's our before the collage is put on. And this is the collage uh, after. You saw the before, now you see the after. Be awesome today. So this is a cradle frame. And uh, I'm obviously going to repurpose it, <laughs> cover this up. So I'm going to cover it with uh, tacky spray in hopes that I can get my um, original page down flat. Uh, so I'm going to have the cradle. I'm going to have my tacky spray. I'm going to have a glue stick and an X-Acto and some... Uh, pages out of magazines. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I am uh, going to go through these and pick out some amazing things that I really like about these pages, and then we will play with what we're going to do. Okay, so this is the background I've chosen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this with my tacky spray and then lay the piece down and squeegee it the best I can to have as few wrinkles. You'll want to do this outside probably because it's fumy. Let's see if we can even get any out of here. Notice how I'm doing this outside? You will want to do this outside or in a very well ventilated area. Do not try this at home. I know I want this at the bottom. And I'm just going to start squeegeeing him up. Paper towel. those bubbles up and out. Now there's a little bit of texture from my squeegee, so I'm just going to go in with a paper towel. Put that down the best I can. didn't rip it. That's a plus. All right. There's a little bit of edge showing. We'll deal with that. Not to worry. <laughs>
Okay. Now I have cut out some focal points. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet. But I went through the magazines and found some fun images. And now I'm going to just start placing things on here to see where it might be fun to have them. Let's just tear that off for now so I know where the edge of the substrate is. And let's just play for a minute. Still building on that background. I really would like her. She's very, very fun. She's fun too, but I can't see where she's going to work unless she's just half on, half off. Oh, we'll just fiddle. He's fun, doesn't quite fit. These colors are good together though. something to pull things together here. All right, I'm going to play for a minute. Mm, kind of off screen a little bit. All right, I'm pretty happy with this um, layout <clears throat> for our focal points. And you know I don't like the white edges. So I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to oh, go over each focal point with some brown watercolor. And I'm going to darken those edges. So yes, this is going to take me a minute. All right, I did take a picture of how I expect this collage to go uh, because there were a lot of moving parts on this. I'm going to use a, a glue stick. So I want to talk about this a little bit. There is an amazing local artist, Stephen Shum, and he teaches what's called a crazy collage. I believe that's what he calls his class. I have not taken it. I've taken a watercolor class from him, but I haven't taken his crazy collage. Anyway, one of my students, Mary, took his uh, crazy collage class and brought her crazy collage in for me to peek at, for the class to peek at, actually. And that is what has inspired this project. You're out of there. So I haven't really seen any of his, and I have not taken his class. And I will give Mary credit, and she will give Stephen credit. <laughs> so that's how that goes. All right, I'm just going to take my glue stick, and I'm just going to keep adding the collage to where I think it was, even though I have it on a picture. I'm just going to... Go forward and see how close I can get that. You probably don't want to watch every step here. I'll take you on a few more. And then uh, and then I will carry on. We can talk a little bit about how I chose the focal points. These, except for this girl. This girl came out of an art magazine. This girl came out, <laughs> that girl came out of an art magazine that I've been holding on to because I love her. And the other pieces have just come out of a 
fashion magazine, nothing special. So I just thumbed through the magazine last night and uh, just tore out some pages that I found interesting. And then went back through those interesting pages and uh, fussy cut some things out. Oh, one more piece, and I'll let you go. I love your company on the table with me, though. I just don't want to bore you to death. Okay, this piece is coming along swimmingly. I'm just going to add a couple more pieces for energy. Darkening the edges, the back edges. This was really a lot of fun to watch come to life. You just never know what's going to happen. Give me your little piece. just needed a little bit more energy down here because I'm going to put some energy up here. So to balance that out, I needed a little something something down in that corner. A sticky. Alright, so there's some edges that I need to trim off. I'm going to give her some little tears. I don't know what else. I'm going to grab my uh, Stays On Black ink pad. I have strings sticking in my fingers. And I'm just going to go around the edge. I'm bringing in a sharp Stabilo because I don't want too much on this piece. I say that now, right? But I'm just going to go around. I think I'm just going to go around some of the focal points and give it a black smoky finish, but we shall see.
Okay, she feels pretty gosh darn complete. I made her some, um, I put some dots down for some tears. And yeah, I didn't like them so much. So I couldn't take them off because they were permanent marker. But what I did do was uh, give her another eye. So that was the repair kit for that. And I love her. She's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to cover it with some art varnish just to seal it. And now it's your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. And my villagers, thank you so much for your support during this whole month of challenges. We made it.